Hello everybody, I'm back again. Just wanted to jump in real quick and do a, a quick show and tell about some stuff that I uh, have been making. Which, I want to show these two, but that's not what I wanted to show. <laughs> I thought those came out cute, didn't they? Um, but anyways, that's not what I wanted to show. What I wanted to show was this over here. I made um, some new pockets. I know uh, some ladies had mentioned um, it's time for new pockets. So, let's see. To begin, I'm going to start with this one. This one was supposed to be just a little clip, <clears throat> excuse me, that you open. And, oh, by the way, it's just book pages that I used and they have the images that were on the book. Um, I haven't decorated anything or distressed this one I did but I haven't distressed or done anything to them they will be embellished and you know all prettied up this one has you know boats and stuff I think it was a Washington DC um, book that I used but anyway so don't mind that but it was supposed to be just a little insert you know and then you could put something in here like well, I guess this tag you would pop it in there you know and then you would just uh, close it and decorate the front and just insert it and this one is seven inches long by what is it three and a quarter wide three and a quarter by seven Anyways, um, and then at the end I thought, okay, well, what if I put a pocket? So I ended up putting a pocket, which I found this guy here, and I'm like, okay, he, he wants to be in the book. So I created that, and that pocket, and oh, I don't have a tag, but I have this. You see, you would just insert your little tag in there. Sorry about the camera, guys. I'm using my phone, because I was too lazy to put the camcord, and... Um, hopefully this works but it's just a show and tell if you guys like it um, I can go ahead and do a tutorial on it but anyway this was my idea in the beginning you know just a little insert then I thought of the pocket well then after this a new idea came along so that one went to the side and I ended up creating this pocket which is the same one Except this one has the, um, I rounded the corners, and this one's a square one, but it's the same pocket. And so what I did, is on the front, I added these two pockets. Should have got some tags, is what I should have done. Um, okay, I got one here. And I don't even think that one will fit, will it? No, of course not. Of course not, Patty. Okay, I, um, 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 I got these little tags that I've been making. So, anyways, this is, would be a top pocket for a tag. And then I'll use this other little one here. <laughs> and this one would be there. So, and then once you open it, you still have the little insert here. Which would be... What can we put? Come on, Patty. Which, let's say this one. You would insert there. So you have that kind of... And I'm calling this another wallet style insert. Then I went ahead and added some pockets here, of course. So you have a large pocket at the top. And a small pocket at the bottom. So that's how this insert is but we're not done when you close it of course you have another pocket in the back <laughs> so this insert is full of tucks and pockets okay so that's one um, like I said this one is the same thing but round but you have the same pockets inside same one right here and the same in the back but on this one I went ahead and added another small pocket in there so you got this little pocket in the front and 
this one I just left it blank and this one I added the pocket and yeah aren't those cute like I really love the way it came out so um I want to make you guys laugh <laughs> so by me saying that give me a second I was sewing it right because I was all excited of the ideas that kept popping in my head so me and my sewing machine yesterday were just not clicking I was having issues I am not gonna lie but this was my first prototype <laughs> don't focus too much on the sewing guys but anyways this is it okay these are pages that I got from a book like I said you got the large pocket here and on this one I went ahead and trimmed a little bit I don't know if you guys could see but I trimmed a little bit of the edge so you could insert a pocket okay but as you can see I had to do this double sewing on the side because I kept messing up um, I forgot where I messed up on this one on this side at least oh over here I went off the page if you guys could see <laughs> anyway so I thought okay I can deal with that right so then as you go into the book on this one I only made this large pocket oh the tag works fits, fits here this large tag so I just put one page and I like the little um, elephant and then you still have this little tuck here right so this was my first one and then look what happened there okay like I don't even want to go there but when you close it on this one I just folded the la the flap out so I figured oh maybe you could use it to tuck something on the bottom but you have the tuck there but like I said look at the sewing situation guys like see this is what I go through when me and my sewing machine aren't getting along so yeah I had to show you guys so you guys could see the dilemmas that I go through <laughs> But, you know, I feel bad for the little elephant guy there that I really liked and I wanted him there, but it's not going to happen. It's too ugly. So, yeah, I wanted to share that real quick. So, this, like I said, is my new uh, wallet style insert. And, move that aside. Then I made this one. This is also made of a large page. Um, I should have measured the pages that I used this is a larger book but this one is just it opens and I just made little pockets on the inside and you, know, you just tuck your little tags there I thought these were so stinking cute for your journals you know little okay that one's not gonna fit uh, for the little journals you can make little tags little cards like journaling cards and then just close it after it's decorated and you pop it into your journal so I thought this was cute I went ahead and did a square one this one's um, I rounded the corners on this one this one's just square like I said I haven't decorated this is like the very first one I've made of each so I want to go ahead and make more the only thing I, I prefer <clears throat> excuse me I prefer the rounded edges but when it comes to sewing like see right there I almost went out so you see that little ding there so it's you know it's harder to go around the page it's you know it's more time consuming because you have to go slower or at least I do <laughs> so but it's cute I like it and even just squared it's cute too see got the little tucks there and like I said little insert just goes into your your junk journals also this other one came along I was folding pages and you know I was folding them getting ready to glue them well it came to my head that I was like okay I can do get this tag I can glue or sew both of the top I only glued the top I mean, I'm sorry, I only glued the bottom. So you can insert a tag, something there. Well, this one would probably be better because this one's longer. 
but see you could just insert it a large tag there and then when you flip it over I went ahead and punched I think it's a uh, one and a half or a two inch punch oh I think no I think it's a two inch and I don't have it in front of me do I? yes I do it's right here <coughs> It's one and a half. You guys can see it. It's a one and a half. So on this side, you could just enter, enter, insert a large tag. Which I don't think this one's going to, oh yeah, it fits. See, so you would just insert that in one of your pockets in the journal, decorate this all prettied up, you know. And you have a tuck in the side, and then you have a tuck on the end, and you just insert it. So I like this also. You will be seeing these in my journals. I I just like um, I'm trying to create journals. I'm um, journals. My inserts and my ephemera. So I'm just playing, getting ideas, you know. So this came along. Also, I wanted to share that on my I think it was my last video that I showed my book. This is a new tag also that was born. And this one, I just have a tag that goes runs with the whole tag. So, and this tag measures two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and three quarters. And I think it's three and a quarter, yes, wide. Isn't that cute? I should have, I, I have used this one, but, um, you know, I went ahead and put the little, punched the hole and put that little what is it the 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 enforcer so I don't tear you guys know what I'm talking about right so yeah this is another cute little tag I wanted to come and share with you guys and I went ahead and made myself a little bundle already here's my little bundle of them also I made these I thought these were cute another type of insert and this is just a little simple insert I just folded the page I ended up sewing it you could leave it open to tuck something under I left it open I mean I sewed it in and then I just made a, a simple little tag out of uh, a file folder but this is a little tag I mean I'm sorry a little insert but you could also use it as a pocket all you have to do is put it on your journal and glue around the edges so you have the pocket in the front and you also can insert in the back so I thought these were cute I used already one in one of my journals that I made that um did I show it I'm not sure if I showed it or not but if it's the one that I've made for someone I can't show that one <laughs> but yeah this is another style of insert slash pocket and I made those, see, and I even uh, made another little batch here, and I even wrote the uh, the size of the insert and the pocket. The size of the tag and the insert. So I went ahead and made me a little batch of those. Also, here's another one. I have, um, what do you call those? I have, uh, I think, it, yeah, I think it's the dictionary. It's a large book it's wide so what I went ahead and did is I cut the page in half after you know cutting the edges a little bit and I started making these cute little tags this um, it's gonna be a tag actually I should have punched a hole but I plan to punch the hole in and you know put some um, seam binding or something and I went ahead and created a little tag for it also out of uh, a file folder but aren't those cute like I really love it. I can't wait to start decorating them I made myself a nice little batch as you can see here's my little stash already and this one I just you know just went around it and then I liked it so much I haven't even used it yet on a book but I liked it so much guess what I made me a stack more but this one I went ahead and did the uh, Oh my goodness, this stitch on the pocket one, and this one, I haven't created a, a, a tag yet, but, you know, you would put your little, your little tag inside, and, you know, you punch your little hole, put your seam binding, and 
how cute are those guys like wow and I kind of think they they look cuter with the uh, this type of sewing on the front zigzag there you go see a little a little slow but it came <laughs> but um, yeah so I really liked it I wanted to share with you guys if you guys have you know those dictionaries and stuff you can go ahead and make yourself a bunch of these you know and then decorate them you can copy dye them you can use um, you know paper patch to decorate them uh, you can stamp on them gesso them you could do so much with these and they look so cute in your in your journal pockets so I wanted to share that real quick I thought it was a great idea to use those dictionary book pages and just do your little inserts and I think that's it for today right make sure I didn't miss one oh nope wait we missed one this is the last one oh these are the thingies that we're talking about once you do a hole punch I uh, use my um, my, my, my stamp to color these I saw, saw uh, some tags on uh, Pinterest and I usually use my uh, walnut stain well they used like a red color and I thought it looked cute so I was like okay I want to make some tags with that so I went ahead and got my my distress ink the, I think it's the red barn or barn. something like that but okay I don't want to look for it because I'm going to be here for forever but I think that's what it's something like that something has to do with barn and red okay <laughs> red barn red door red something something like that but anyways, that's the one I used, and I I don't have some tags. The tags that I made, I already used, as you could see. But I like the way it looked with bread. But anyways, going back to the pocket chair, the last um, I guess tag insert that I used or created. This was my first one. Oh, hold on, guys. This one, and this these are decorated. Now this is just supposed to be a little tag, you know, you you would insert it in your pocket. And once you pull out the tag, it opens and it's like a little wallet. So you got your little pockets there. Isn't that cute, guys? Like, oh my goodness, I made little tags. And then um, these are from Chris Christie Art Design. I've been using a lot of her stuff lately. I'm like stuck on her stuff. Here I purchased some a set of stamps or bundle of, of used stamps. So I've been playing with them. This is the first one I used. And here's another one from Christy Art Designs. But isn't it cute guys? And in the back it's just plain. I didn't, I'm, I was thinking of either using gesso or putting a piece of, of uh, paper just so you can journal on the back being that it's a tag but yeah it's a tag you just insert it in your pocket and it looks all cute but when you open it you could still insert all these cute little things see I wanted to do that with the other pockets I just showed you but of course Patty is very impatient she couldn't wait <laughs> but I did decorate this one and then I went ahead and did three more I show you these images that I used on these came from Artie Mays she has these um, vintage um, journaling cards and she has some with the floral and then she has some with the I'm not, I don't think it's this one but she has some with the vintage um, I guess they're vintage ladies or I'm not sure if they're they're um, youngsters but I think it's vintage ladies I don't have them in front of me but I just shrunk them down to fit and again you know just decorate them different ways open them up look at that how cute guys and on the front, I really didn't decorate much because I want them to close flat. If I if I put flowers and stuff, it's going to make it all chunky. So I, but I didn't want that. So I went ahead and just um, layered some paper and some lace and just sewed them. And then just glued it onto the little front of the pocket. And then, you know, you have a cute little tag here. And then this is a, a layaway tag that I just you know cut the pieces apart and used it in here it fits perfectly these images came from tsunami rose so i figured you know that's a picture of someone who owns this book 
but it's cute like a little wallet style you know and then this one here again it's a tag open it and this one is the decoration is pretty much the same different image and then this one got some little girls over there in a the tub show that real quick see how cute <laughs> and um, I have the other piece of that layaway tag and again this little itty bitty tag but yes I love the way these came out too I think these are cute little tag inserts because that's what I'm gonna call them no hold on patty tag inserts right yeah patty tags <laughs> you know how you guys started the the Patricia pockets so I'm gonna tr t call these Patricia tag inserts or tags ah uh, you guys name it for me you guys are, go are good at that <laughs> but anyways just wanted to share like I said I plan to do tutorials but um 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 um, um I'll probably have to uh, I don't want to do all the videos in in one because you know I have a hard time when people ask me where is the video or the tutorial to this particular pocket and you know some of my videos I've done a couple of them and I don't remember so I have to go back and look in there so I'm thinking of maybe doing like two in each video maybe that'll make it easier for me to know where everything's at be able to identify it better <laughs> But anyways, thank you so much, guys. Just wanted to come in and share real quick. I've pretty much been doing embellishments and tags and stuff for my journals to come. Um, but that's it for today. Hope you guys like it. Please let me know what you think. And, you know, if you guys want me to make the tutorial, let me know. And uh, I will put a rush into it. But uh, thank you so much. You guys have an amazing rest of the evening. It's already late here. So I think it's going to be 11 in the morning already. I mean, 11 at night but anyways um thank you so much guys god bless and i will see you guys on my next video take care bye bye